No, I think it was in 2000 we bought the first Prius in Congress and the first Prius in Maryland. My wife enjoyed being at the traffic light with the young guys with their, with, with their cars, zoom, 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 and she could always beat them on takeoff from the traffic light because of the enormous torque in electric motors. Well, I think that the uh, hybrid cars and trucks where you directly reduce the demand on fossil fuels is one of the most uh, uh, productive things we can do. Uh, you know, if you are developing alternatives, you have to look at the fossil fuel content in the alternatives. And for corn ethanol, for instance, the fossil fuel content was nearly as much as the energy you got out of the corn ethanol. So you're not really displacing fossil fuels if you're simply burning them in another form. But when you're using hybrids, you're not doing that. You are directly reducing our demand for fossil fuels. That's conservation and efficiency, and that's the, the best way to begin. As the world produces less and less oil, we're going to have to move to more and more electric transportation. Regrettably, we've torn out all of our old streetcars. That was electric transportation. We're now putting them back in. We call them light rail now. Uh, but unfortunately, in our country, we have developed an infrastructure that's going to be very difficult to serve with electric. And, and that's uh, 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 suburbia. You can't do anything in suburbia without getting in your car. It's going to be very difficult to have mass transit there. So we're going to be relying on electric cars. We need to move more aggressively in that area. Well, you know, all that we can do in this budget crisis that we're in now, all that we can do is create a climate where the private sector can do this. You shouldn't be looking to government for money to do this. We can create the proper client with taxes and so forth so that that can happen. But it's going to be at the private sector that moves forward because we're just flat out out of money in the federal government.